Oh, Albert's a dumbass. We're on. Hello, my friends, and welcome back to. Well, I'm ready to go, mate. It's... Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Villa on Tour. International break is done, Simon. Buzzing, did you watch England? I didn't. I didn't get round right to it. <laughs> it's probably for the best. It was absolutely terrible. That game against North Macedonia, by the way, awful. It's currently Friday night. We're at the German markets. Decent. Couple of beers are flowing. You just had a garlic bread. Yeah, it's all right. Isn't it? It's very busy, but it's all right. The temperature's dropped. So it's starting to feel a little bit, a little bit Christmassy, a little bit winter in there, isn't it? It certainly is. It's very, very cold. German markets though on a Friday night, just before the Villa on the Sunday. Can't complain at all. International break was fairly quiet all round, apart from Emi Martinez battering some Brazilian police. But Tottenham away it is a huge game. Obviously, we've had the international break, but these fixtures coming up now are huge. Tottenham, Bournemouth, City, Arsenal, big run coming up. Yeah, sort, sort of like kind of season defining a little bit. I mean, really big game, especially in, obviously the big game against Warsaw on Thursday night in Villa Park and yeah. games against sides who we were sort of in the race for European football with again around us. And I think at the end of this period, you'll sort of know where Villa are going to be sort of challenging for at the end of the season. But I fancy Villa's chances on Sunday, I really do. I think Spurs have got a lot of injuries. Villa have got players coming back from injury in, in terms of Ramsey and stuff. And so I'm buzzing for it. I think they're really big games to play and it's what you want to play in really big games. Can't wait. Yeah, exactly. Don't forget about Tottenham's injuries, Tottenham's suspensions. It's a big opportunity for Villa. And of course, Leggy of Warsaw on Thursday as well. Europe, we need to win that group to avoid the playoff round as well. Take every game as it comes. We'll see you on Sunday. Up the Villa. Good morning. It is Sunday. Quarter past six. Quarter past six in the morning. Good morning. It is cold. I think it's just gone 7 a.m. Coach just over there in about 10, 15 minutes. Like I said, coach just over there. I think it's just over a couple of hours down to North London. This is far too early for a Sunday. Good morning. Good morning. It's cold. It's, it's very cold. It's early. Uh, Leery eyed a little bit. What was our last away day? Was it Wolves? Forest. Oh, Forest. Forest yeah, that yeah. one well. I've got that on my memory. How are we feeling yeah. today then? I think it should be a good game. I, I, you, can't be, you can't be fairly confident. I think our away form hasn't been great. Big opportunity today then. But, I mean, like, I saw that from the last time they won, they've got like six players out from yeah, the last time yeah. they've won, so I'm confident. Morning, Jay. How Morning. are you, Sonia? I've got I'm a present right, for you. I've got a present for you, right? And the so, so weirdly, right, you collect what fridge magnets? Yeah. Everywhere. Collects fridge magnets even for places he doesn't go. So like when we went to Dubai last season, you asked for a fridge <laughs> magnets. Yeah. Dude. Well look what I've got for you, right? So this is from four months ago. We went to Went to Valencia, right, four months ago. Oh, Fridge thank magnet. you very much. How oh, good is that? Very much. Buzzing. Look at him. Absolutely yeah, buzzing. Buzzy. <laughs> It's not your conventional away day drink. It's is it? Christmas. It's what are you going with the Christmas, Christmas drinks? It's festive. What is it? A um, little bit of vodka. Yeah. I'm not driving, by the way. Yeah. Energy drink like um, Monster. Just it's keep a bit it going. Light. It's a bit light. Does anyone remember Simon's oh, brown pint? Oh, your your yeah. brown pint in Philadelphia, like all the colours. Weird. Statman Simon's got a stat. Come on. We've only won two games in the past 10 away league games, so. We, we're quite good at Tottenham though. Last couple of times we've been there, New Year's Day, the lockdown season. Yeah, we've, we've, we've done all right at Tottenham away, but in general. just recent away league forms on me, great. So, time to change that today. Top four if we do. Just arrived uh, near Tottenham, Grey Grounds just around the corner. Team news, um, Matty Cash, push further forward, Carlos comes in. I'm never a fan of it, but I'm going to stay positive and hope that it hope that it works. I tr trust in Unai. Yeah, let's just hope we can get it there. We've got more than enough in attack to be able to get it, though, so yeah, touch us. No, exactly. And Tottenham's team, obviously, is well publicised, the changes they've had to make. Royale and Ben Davis at the back, can they be got at? It's chance Villa today, huge chance. There's never going to be a better time to play Tottenham. Make of the ground inside. It's often called the spaceship. It's all right, and it? it looks a bit like a toilet from the top yeah, line. It's like different it. to White Hart Lane by some distance. Yeah, I like it. I do like it. I used to like the old White Hart Lane. To be fair, that was really yeah old and traditional. But yeah, it's, it's all right. It's I never, good. I never went to the old White Hart Lane. I'm gutted. That was like a proper football stadium. But this, very 21st century. Look at the airport style security. Yeah? Don't mess around.
Right, I've got Liam. What's your score prediction today, mate? I reckon it's going to be 2-1. 2-1, so we're going to win. Three points today. Give us a big up the villa, son. Up the villa. Oh, I love it, Liam. Fist bump, mate. Score predictions then. I fancy goals today. I'm flirting with 2 1. But I'm going to go more. I'm going to go 3 2 Sevilla. We're going to nick it. I don't fancy clean sheets. Sorry, score prediction. I do fancy a clean sheet. Uh, 1 0. 1 0. I'd absolutely take that. Anything like last year, by the way, that was a great performance. Clean sheet there as well. I'd love to replicate that today. Right, Josh, Bobby, score predictions. What are we saying? Uh, 2 1 Villa. 2 1 Villa. 3 1. Oh, up the Villa, boys. Up the Villa! <laughs> Hang on a minute, let me interrupt there. Just before we do get into the football, here's a quick message from this video sponsor. Yes, this video is very kindly sponsored by the wonderful people over at Surfshark VPN. Surfshark is a virtual private network which keeps you safe, secure and private whilst you're on the internet. Obviously, this Tottenham game at the moment is being streamed live on Sky Sports. But we've all been there where Villa aren't on TV and you think to yourself, how on earth am I going to watch the game? Surfshark VPN allows you to change the virtual location of your device to anywhere across the world. And your device can be your phone if you're on the go, your laptop or even your smart TV if you're trying to watch the football at home. So for example, change that virtual location to the outside of the UK. So for example, go to America and then it's so much easier to watch any Premier League football you like and watch all the Villa games so much easier than here in the UK. And it also keeps you super safe whilst you are online. You know when you're using public Wi-Fi and you're a little bit nervous about who can sort of hack into that network and see what you're doing? Well, Surfshark VPN will stop any hackers seeing your passwords while you're using the public Wi-Fi, stop malicious hardware, phishing attempts, all of that sort of dodgy stuff. Surfshark's got you covered. And as part of Surfshark supporting the Villa on tour channel, they've given me an exclusive code for you guys. Go and get yourself an exclusive Black Friday deal over at Surfshark by entering my code Villa on tour to get yourself up to six additional months for free. So I've used Surfshark myself, it's genuinely so helpful. So if you want to use it yourself as well and support the channel, please do use that top link in the description to get yourself a great deal over at Surfshark. First chance goes to Tottenham. Cannot concede an early goal away again. Just chill out. Five minutes. All they want to do is play over the top. Yeah. You can see that straight away. Three or four times they've tried to knock it over the top. Kulisewski, son. Dangerous, fast players. This is bad. Literally. Just calm down. Less than three minutes in. Chill out. Yeah. Yes. Oh, oh, chance. Four minutes in. It should be 2 1. He's on the right and he loves to attack. And he goes by the name of Matikash. Every time. 1 0. Wow. How's he missed? Mate, that ball every time is too easy to get through. You can't say it's not been coming. Felt a little bit like the Shabazzai goal at Liverpool. Comes out from a corner, which isn't very well defended. And it's smashed in. Oh, Villa. In there, Watkins. Oh, he's checking it. VAR offside. They are checking VAR here. Yeah. Everyone's saying it's miles off. Everyone on Twitter is saying it's offside. It's taken a good while, by the way. This is. This is ridiculous. What's going on? Offside. It's meant to be the, the, the one, easy part. Of one it. angle saying off. One angle Simon, saying Simon's off. got the intel off Twitter. People are saying it's off. People are saying it's on. Welcome to football in 2023. Go on. Yes! 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 Get in there, boys! Get in! Come on! Get in there! Get in there! 
Come on! Get in there, pal. Was that pal Torres? I think it was Torres. Oh, you beauty. Just before half time. Bash! What a header oh, that was. Right. I think it's Torres. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Get in there, Villa boys. Pal Torres. Second Villa goal. Just before half time. Is it going to VAR? So why haven't you checked him while he's been celebrating? Because going? they wait till you get back to the centre circle. You should check as soon as it goes in. Stupid. Yes! Get in there! Get in! One ruled out, one given. Get in! Massive goal that is. Come on! Oh, send us, send us, God! Yes, we are in! Yes, we are in! Any danger here, ref? Blow the whistle. Go we'll take that. How big's that of a goal? Pal Torres just before half time. Yeah. Did we deserve that? Probably not, maybe. Well, I, you know what? I don't know. I think like the, the opening like 20 minutes, I think they were like getting in every time. Yeah. I mean, since they since they scored, let's be honest, it was a fortuitous goal. It just bounced off Carlos. Deflection. Miners was going to say that, I mean, obviously going to the net. But to be fair, since then, though, they haven't got in behind us again. Uh, and, and yeah, we haven't been great. We haven't built the play up well enough. We haven't oh, kept the ball. <laughs> We haven't we, we kept the ball well enough, uh, but you know, I, I, think that, I think they look shaky in the back though. Yeah. It shows, obviously. We, but we had a few chances as well. They do play in a very, very interesting way, but we were saying like they can be got at. As soon as you get past that really, really high, intense press, especially at the back with Roy Allen Davis, they can be got at, can't they? There's goals in this. Yeah, definitely. And that, that's why it was such a key time to score the goal. Absolutely. Back on level two, just for half time. I got a feeling the manager will probably change something at half time. I mean, we've had a couple of bookings, especially yeah. with cash over on that side. You want to win this. We just gotta keep tight, we can go on and win this. VAR by the way, VAR, the first one looked just I've seen a still of it, it looked just offside. That second one was close as well apparently. Come on then, Villa boys. Uh, Bailey and Telemans on. I'm not quite sure who for yet. But um, two changes at half time. Oh, is it the post? Oh keeper made a faff of that one. He's made it looked like a routine save. Yeah, yeah. He's ended up hitting the post. Oh Bailey! That's what you want from Bailey! Come on, Villa! Sammy Navina, he's our winger. He comes from Jamaica. Bella, 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 Bella. This game is mad. This game is so mad. end to end. Bailey's going to struggle because of who Doggy at left back. His yeah. quality is well good. It's an opportunity for Bailey though. He's already he shown it. Either way, <laughs> definitely could. Three, two, one. That's exceptional. The ball through is outrageous. The finish, touch, bang, goal. World class goal, that is. 60 minutes on the clock. 2 1, Villa boys. What a goal. Every week we follow the boys in Kosovo. We even got in Europe in 1987. The Villa boys are Aston. We travel near and far. I don't care. Dean! Oh, what a save! Bit of a camera save. Emmy Martinez has just made a double save. Unbelievable. And that is why he's world number one. He's unreal. Unbelievable, Emmy Martinez. That's why he's number one. Oh my god, Watkins! The back stick! How's he not made that 3 1? Oh, mate, he's got a score there. 3 1, game's done, and now he's been booked. He 
Oh, soon enough. <laughs> See you later. That's unreal. That's unreal. Tono fans have seen enough. Another offside goal for Spurs. 85 on the clock. Another offside goal. Basically, there's corporate behind us here for the Tottenham fans. They've seen enough after that one. Oh, it's a nervy one. Six added minutes. Six to go. How, how the nerves. <laughs> Says it all. Jacob Ramsey's back. You absolutely love to see it. JJ coming back. We'll get about five minutes. I love that. Great to see him back. He's one of them. What a man. Blow the whistle. Blow the whistle, please. Where's this time coming from here? Where's this time coming from? Yes! Get in here! Yes! Oh, yes. What a massive, massive victory what that is. Aston Villa, right, in the top oh, boys, come on. Come on, Villa. That is so big. That is a massive, massive statement. <laughs> Tielemans when he came on today, unbelievable. John McGinn, Ollie Watkins with the goal, all superb today. That is a statement. With these games coming up now, that is a statement. Get in there. You've seen the villa, now fuck off Oh, I love the villa. You've seen the villa. Yeah.